Michelle Moon looked incredibly youthful while posing with her glamorous look-alike mother Isabel for a festive snap on Friday. Wishing her fans a Merry Christmas, the lingerie mogul, 50, shared the image to her Instagram as she stood with her equally glamorous mother Isabel, 72. Fans branded the pair twins in the comments section as they noticed their similar appearance. Michelle looked gorgeous in a strapless black lace dress and wore her blonde tresses in a bouncy blow dry, while her mom opted for a simple scoop neck top. She penned in the caption, Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. Picture of me, my wee mum. May it bring joy to your hearts and happiness to your homes. Here's to being surrounded by our nearest and dearest at this special time. My thoughts are with those who can't be together with their loved ones today. From my family to yours, have a fabulous day tomorrow. One commenter wrote underneath, Mum, more like twin sisters. Have a very happy and safe Christmas, it comes after Michelle hit back at racism allegations last week. She has claimed a man of Indian heritage put a Native American-style headdress on her during a day of drinking and partying, just weeks before he accused her of racially abusing him. The businesswoman risked being accused of cultural insensitivity by donning the headdress made of black feathers during an alfresco lunch at an expensive restaurant on the French Riviera. She was pictured in the controversial headgear just three weeks before she allegedly sent the offensive WhatsApp message to financial consultant Richard Linton Jones, describing him as being a waste of a man's white skin. Lady Moan and her husband were with Monaco based Mr. Linton Jones, 42, and 15 other people on two super yachts when they all had lunch together at Lager Wright restaurant set on a rocky cove overlooking Cannes on the small island of Isle Saint Marguerite. She claimed Mr. Linton Jones had put the headgear on her head after fetching it from a box of fancy dress hats and outfits at the restaurant. The lavish day out ended in tragedy when the second yacht which had Mr. Linton Jones on board smashed into the yacht owned by Lady Mon's multimillionaire husband, killing a British deckhand. She made a statement apologizing for any offense she had caused after Mail Online told her that it had a photograph of her wearing the headdress and a second snap showing her with her husband who was wearing another headdress with white feathers. Michelle admitted having it on for a brief period and claimed to have been set up by having it placed on her head by the man who later accused her of racism. Her representative said last week that she strongly denied making any comments with racist intent and had believed that Mr. Linton Jones was 100% white and British. They also denied she had a lack of respect for those persons genuinely suffering with mental health difficulties. Mr. Linton Jones said he had no memory of placing any headdress on Lady Mon's head during the lunch at the restaurant which he described as a long day. He claimed that the video in which he was filmed saying, Michelle, Michelle. I've got one for you too could have shown an incident when he had just bought two USB sticks of stored music from the restaurant's DJ at the request of her husband. When told that it had been suggested that he put the headgear on Lady Moan, he said, I have no memory of that action. It was a long day and I have no memory of doing that at all to be honest. What I can't understand is why she is trying to drag me back into this again. All I ever wanted from her was an apology for the racist comment. The Indian headdress has nothing to do with what she called me. I have suffered racial abuse throughout my life and as usual when you stand up for what is right and call it out, you end up being attacked. Asked to respond to the claim that he had tried to set up Lady Moan by putting the headdress on her head, he said, that is just bizarre. 
Why would I plan something two years later about racism after a yacht crash which had not yet taken place? I don't know why she keeps dragging me back into this. All I want is an apology for her racist abuse. It has no place in today's society, especially from a member of the House of Lords. I have suffered abuse my whole life. I was attacked and spent weeks in hospital. I had three brain hemorrhages, three fractures to my skull, a broken nose and a broken cheekbone from a racist attack. I am very much anti-racism. The wearing of headdresses made of feathers used to be popular at music festivals and at fancy dress parties, but has become increasingly taboo and seen as culturally inappropriate in recent years.